Mark, during your open house here at Oshkosh, uh, I saw some of the EAA Air Venture security guys cruising through, and they, they stopped briefly in one of those chopped up Volkswagen Beetles that we see running all over the grounds here. And I walked over and I told the guy, I better not stop here. The car would get nervous that it was about to become an engine donor. But uh, the Aero V engine really has progressed a long way from what was in the, the 1960s era of Volkswagen Beetles. Yeah, absolutely. And like I mentioned before, the Aero V conversion package is all brand new zero time parts. So we're not pulling engines out of Beetles to sell aircraft engines. We've done a lot over the years to refine the VW engine conversion to something we think is a real simple and elegant solution for aircraft. One of the first things you'll notice is that it's a, one of the most streamlined VW conversions that you'll see. All the red parts that you see here and also the uh, zinc plated prop hub is uh, all conversion parts obviously specifically made for us by us for the application and then everything else is just high-end aftermarket racing parts. Some of the really neat features of the engine obviously Obviously, is the prop hub system. We now have a custom crankshaft made specifically for us. Basically, we had the opportunity to have cranks made for us at a lower unit cost than we could buy racing cranks. So we went through the same process. They're forged and nitrided cranks, but we redesigned them slightly. We increased the shrink fit uh, area in the nose. We don't need that big 12 millimeter bolt that the racing crank has, so we made the bolt smaller, and now that way we have more wall thickness in the nose of the crank. We've radiused all the corners and rounded all the keyways in the crank as well. The prop hub itself is a shrink fit with a very thick wall thickness and all rounded keyways. So it's a very, very robust prop hub assembly, probably the best you're going to find in a VW conversion out there today. Features that are really unique to our engine is the ignition system. We have a, a quadruply redundant dual ignition system where we have four independent ignition modules driven directly off the crankshaft and flywheel. There's no moving parts except for the crankshaft driving eight plugs. And then of course there's the AeroCarb, which is an outstanding product we've been selling for a multitude of engines between 30 and 160 horsepower. We use it on the AeroV. It has no float bowl, so it can run in any draft orientation. It's great for aerobatics, doesn't need carburetor heat, and we can fine-tune it very, very well so that you get outstanding fuel economy out of it. If I understand correctly, too, the AeroCarb, um, tell me about its, it, how prone it is to icing and whether there's any difference from a normal carb, and also uh, fuel pressure, you can probably run at gravity feed if you want to. Yeah, right. Uh, like I mentioned, we don't run carburetor heat. Um, the AeroCarb has no butterfly valve to collect ice. It has a little bit of a neck down, but is not a true venturi, so we're not super cooling the mixture. Uh, and the fuel doesn't really atomize at the carb. It, it atomizes a little bit further up the intake manifold. We have never, in all the years we've been flying the AeroCarb or the carbs that inspired it, like the Posa or the Lake Injector, we've never encountered carburetor ice. We've never installed carburetor heat, and we've never had a problem. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Mark, for anybody who's dreamed of having a plane that they can build in their garage and then roll out when it's done, uh, the removable wing thing is very appealing. It also brings about some legitimate concerns, you know, in, in anybody who's going to get in these things and fly them. It help put our viewers at ease about how this whole system works. Right. Well, our removable wings are done just like a sailplane. We have four pins, uh, two in the main spar, two in the rear spar. Our engineer made it bigger than they have to be so that people would feel better when they look at them. It's very simple. The, the spars overlap each other like a lap joint in the spar tunnel, and then the bolts go through both spars. And uh, it's about 10 minutes to remove the wings, about 15 to 20 minutes to put them back on. It's a really great feature, especially for building, as you mentioned. You can build the airplane in a single car garage if you have to because you can have the wings off of the air craft most of the time, store them up in the rafters, work on the fuselage, roll it out in your driveway, rig the wings in, in, a, in an afternoon, take them back off, and, and then finish your hanging the engine. For people who want to trailer it every time they fly, that's maybe a little bit unrealistic unless you've owned a sailplane and used to do that all the time with your glider. For transporting seasonally um, or bringing it home to do uh, major maintenance, it's a really great option to be able to take the wings off and put it on a trailer.
Mark, tell us about the canopy here. It's a somewhat unusual shape compared to some other kit build aircraft you can build and what are its, its other unique properties? Yeah, well the shape it really helps make the lifting body of the design itself and you know a lifting body type design is really part of what makes the airplane fly so well. The aircraft is designed to fly very slow. It stalls at 40 miles an hour with full flaps 46 clean but at the same time we can true out at 170 miles an hour at 8,000 feet with the big Jabiru engine in it. And a lot of that has to do with the clean, how clean the airframe is and the lifting body design. We get that with the flat wrap of the Lexan windshield. Again, flat wrap is a very easy way to install a windshield and we use Lexan because it's very strong and it'll hold up to bird strikes and things like that. Obviously we cannot blow mold Lexan um, so we can't use it for the canopy so we do have to use plexiglass which as you'll know from anyone who's built a home built aircraft with a canopy on it, it can sometimes be troublesome for some people. One of the things we've done to minimize that trouble is by using uh, what we call our Sonplex acrylic which actually has a rubber additive in it and so it makes it a little bit more malleable, a little bit harder to crack, a little bit harder to break in its service life. And the good news is that our canopies are very simply constructed so if you do break one it's only a $300 canopy and it's not going to break the bank if you ever have to replace it. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Now one of the things you guys have done to stay really lean is that a lot of your parts are manufactured by contractors. And Where do they all come from? Well, we use mostly outside vendors, mostly here in the state of Wisconsin, and we support local business as much as possible. We are a very small staff, and uh, we run a very lean and mean operation, meaning that we use just-in-time inventory, and we can be very, very flexible in running the business. So basically, we're an engineering company and a customer support company. We bring parts into this warehouse, which is kind of a small facility, considering the amount of business that we do, but it's really where the rubber meets the road and where the, where the orders are fulfilled. Parts come in, uh, they're quality checked to our engineering standards. Of course, they're quality checked at our vendors before they come here, um, but we inspect everything very carefully. Your order is built to order. We pull the orders for the customer off the shelf and put them together to ship them out. Mark, if someone is considering buying a Sonics aircraft. What would you offer them in terms of the ability to get more information? Uh, the website, can they come by and see the place themselves? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. We're always open for factory tours uh, and we give people tours on a regular basis during our normal business hours and we welcome everyone here. That's why we have the inviting facilities such as the Hornet's Nest Cafe. Really, we've poured a lot of efforts into our website especially, and everything uh, that you ever need to know about the airplanes are on our websites. We have a builder database, so you can find a builder near you and see a project under construction, maybe even get a ride in the aircraft uh, from a builder, and all the information's there. We have an info pack. We've got a great uh, set of videos, including a new one that we just came out with this week at the show and have been distributing uh, to everybody. And then, of course, we're always on the other end of the telephone or the email. Uh, give us a, a call or shoot us an email and uh, we'll get back to you right away with answers to your questions. For the AeroV and AeroCarb uh, AeroConversions product line, we have www.aeroconversions.com. Well, Mark, we appreciate you taking some time out to uh, show us the place during a loud and crazy air show, and we uh, wish you all the best in the future. Well, thanks for spending the time with us, Paul, and we really appreciate all the great coverage.